Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Slazo channel. Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a very prolonged episode of DI why? This is the series where I look at life hacks on the internet be, be, because there are no shortage of them and find the bad ones and 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 just have a look, you know? Right, so our first order of business. Uh, <laughs> I found this video a while back. So basically, we're watching the creation of another Belle Delphine. This is so sad, you guys. Like, I remember the days when the kid with braces was, like, really self-conscious about it and was so happy when they got them out. Yeah, but now kids are going to the orthodontist and they're like, Uh-huh. Okay. Yes, Harry, it, it looks like you can get your braces out now. Uh, yeah, Doc, that's a good idea. But on the other hand, have you heard of this girl called Belle Delphine? She's really cute. So yeah, there's just a teaser. <laughs> if you don't like what you've seen so far, click off this video. It's not for the faint of heart, and I don't blame you. Hello, just interrupting this video to bring you a sponsored message from our boys over at Finchero. Now these guys make good watches that I like. And now as a YouTuber, I get approached by quite a few brands, and a lot of them I turn down because yeah, they kind of suck, but Ventura's not like that. Ventura make really high quality watches that can be dressed up or down. That is, you can wear them very casually or at actual like events when you're dressing up and be an all fancy schmancy. Never let me say that again. They have a really like premium nice feel in the hand, both the metal and leather ones. I've got both. They're all great feeling and they just look nice. They have like a... I'll show the number on screen. I forget how big it is, but it's a ridiculous number of five-star reviews. And on top of that, if you use the link in the description down below, you can get like 15% off a Vincero watch today. So that's the link in the description and code Slazo. So yeah, these guys have been fantastic to work with, like some of the best I have so far. And me being able to do this supports the channel and lets me keep living and eating and sleeping and stuff. So it benefits me as well if you go and do that, but Either way, moving on with the video. But anyway, I'll be in London when I'm recording this video and I have to record it real quick before I go get on my flight. So yeah, so I got to get this done real quick before I go over to London and crush I'm Alex's skull with my sheer size or something like that, you know? Oh man, I hate that. I hate when I accidentally leave a bunch of screws laying perfectly upwards and then I step on them. I hate that. And what I like to do as part of my morning routine is do my daily scan for metal objects on the floor because you never know, Kevin from Home Alone might have set up a couple traps. Like, just buy a face mask, you, you nitwit. No, 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 I don't need a face mask, okay, liberal. What I need to do is crush up some sunflower seeds, maybe a bit of guacamole, and just splash that on my face. Maybe snort a line. Yeah, yeah, it's good for the endocrine system. Okay, that is just, <laughs> that is festy. I think I've spoken about this one before on this series. I'm not sure. Um, I, <laughs> they're traumatic memories that I mostly block out, but this one, it, like, it's just so festy, isn't it? Like, if you find yourself in, in dire enough straits in your life to use your hair as a makeup brush, then you are a rodent. 
<laughs> just like it's it's probably better at this point to just not use makeup really like this is some medieval age stuff this is i shall use the hair of the finest maiden in the land to blush mine cheeks you're a rat You've made a funnel. You've made a funnel. You've made a funnel. Like, like these things are like a dollar or two. You've made a funnel. I mean, I guess it makes sense if you like wasting your time like some kind of goddamn idiot, but <laughs> if that's not the case, then than rot. Oh yeah, bro, I'm like, I'm not into these new lamp things. I prefer candles, it's more of a challenge, you know? Because like, if you use lamps, man, then you not only cheated Nikola Tesla, but also yourself. Piss off. I've been doing this for a couple years now. Okay, like, I'm not saying it's wrong. Like, that probably is a better, more natural, you know, caveman-oriented kind of way to, to do your business. But, like... Fuck off? <laughs> no? I can't be bothered, like, l l l <laughs> like a good 75% of these is like, okay, I'm sure, but I can't be asked really. Like what it's doing here is asking me to make some like Optimus Prime Transformers level technology. Well, I mean, it's one string and some sticky tape, but still, in order to lower my toilet seat, like, I could have done that myself, you know? In order to automatically lower the toilet seat, like, c can't you just look where you're going, idiot? Alright, I think I've talked about this one before as well, but it's in the Twitter thread, so it's going in the video. But like, the actual state of your life, if, if you find yourself resorting to this, right? But I mean, to be fair, it is a big step for women's rights, so I mean... <laughs> Oh yes, of course, you're with the boys and you're cracking open a cold one. By a cold one, I mean, I'm in a bottle of wine. And somebody gets the corkscrew, you say, no, wait, you pull out your fucking burner. <laughs> Look, I don't even need to use my hands to drink my wine. Also, you boys want some soiling? Like, the amount of cuckery in this video is unbelievable. I hate you. You're pathetic, okay? Take it away, Dr. Phil. You're ugly. You're disgusting. I'm going to kill you. Give me $200. I'm truly scared. Hey guys, okay, we're a family friendly fun channel. Five minute crafts, everyone loves us. Now, just use your old genes and make a demonic altar, okay, and say these words. Okay, say that and you will not summon any demons, I swear. What? What is this? <laughs> <laughs> I 
<laughs> I'm sorry, hold up. Wait. No, 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 no. No. Fingerless gloves were bad enough, okay? Like, <laughs> toeless socks. Toeless socks, what's the point of even wearing them so you don't feel the shoe against your foot? Fuck off. Oh, <laughs> oh, you look like a fucking jellyfish, mate. Okay, now you might, <laughs> you might think that this one's creepy and weird, and it is, but it also exposes the hidden truth behind 5 Minute Crafts. It's secretly owned by Sid from Toy Story. Oh my god, who, who would have thought? Okay, okay. <laughs> Just a word, um, for, for anyone who finds themselves in a state where they're doing this, um, just know that you're in the deepest, darkest phase of your life, like, y you are going ape shit, and, <laughs> and you don't care what any- But it'll get better, okay? You're, you're just going kind of a bit berserk <laughs> right now, like, what, what is happening? Okay, so what's the takeaway from this one? Well, as with all of them, 5 Minute Craft's bad, like we get that. Uh, and also, you are a clown if you try any of these. Please do not. Otherwise, you should go book, you should go book a room in the yeah, So there we go, that's it for another episode of DI Horror. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed. And also just a reminder that this video is brought to you by Vincero and you can use the code down below for 15% off your order. If there's anything else you wanna see, be sure to comment it below. And yeah, I'll, I'll be over in England for a a week or two probably um i'll be going to insomnia um uh, <laughs> a very last minute decision but i'll be heading over there and yeah it, it'll be good to meet those guys like since i've known a lot of them for like years now but since i live in basically another solar system <laughs> over in australia i've never met any of them except for like pyro and like that's it i, I hope you've enjoyed and uh, go follow me on instagram now thanks <laughs> and also twitter that's where i post most of my updates with like what i'm doing with my life if you care about that for some reason i posted a picture of me and my family aka clones yesterday i'm not sure if we look similar so if you guys would go and comment i'm like i'm really not sure <laughs> i'm not sure if me and my family members look alike i think we need a couple more comments about that anyway i hope you've enjoyed the video and i'll see you in the next one bye we strongly advise you to never purchase any of these items. Number 15, Charles Manson.